There's massive concern about Zimbabwe's prolonged level 4 lockdown. Zimbabwean church groups, public health activists and economists say it's plunging ordinary people into extreme poverty. The country has been on a hard lockdown since June amid a third wave of COVID-19. And this week, President Emerson Mnangagwa extended it by a further two weeks. ENCA correspondent Pindai Dube reports. Current level 4 restrictions in Zimbabwe include a curfew from 6.30 p.m. to 6 a.m., the banning of intercity travel, a reduction in business hours, and the closure of schools, land borders, beer halls, nightclubs, and bars. But some say it's time to relax at the rules because they are harming ordinary people. If you declare level 4, and there are no mechanisms to cushion the lives of the people. You are simply sentencing people to death. So people will then make a choice whether I die of COVID-19 or I die uh, of, of hunger. Economists say there should be a reopening of the economy while observing the World Health Organization's COVID-19 protocols. I think for me, I've always been an advocate of a more stringent and, and stricter enforcement of, uh, of, of, of the whole protocols in terms of uh, masking up, in terms of social distancing. I think that's what we really needed to, to, to be focusing on and allow uh, ordinary citizens to eke out a living, allow uh, businesses to eke out a living. Uh, the recent report by the World Bank, the Zimbabwe Economic Update, revealed that um, as at 20, December 2020, 7 million Zimbabweans were living in extreme poverty. Public health activists say some people are so desperate and they are even ignoring the current restrictions anyway. Even after the, low, the level 4 extension, the reality on the ground is very few people are observing the lockdown measures, especially the WHO recommended guidelines. But the Zimbabwe government recently insisted lockdowns are the best way to stop the spread of COVID-19. Pindai Dube, Harare, Zimbabwe.